So let's create that trick, shall we? Now, if you guys have a paid version of DaVinci Resolve, there is a tool called 3D Camera Tracker, which is a really powerful tool, and you can achieve this trick more easily than this. But I know most of you guys uh, have the free version, so let me show you how you can achieve this on the free version. So, if you guys are new here, for those who don't know, I'm Fenzer. I do travel tech and filmmaking on this channel. So if you're into that sort of stuff, please consider hitting the subscribe button. Now watch until the end of the video to know how it's done because you do not want to miss out any steps that I'm going to be showing you. So let's dive into DaVinci Resolve to show you how it's done. So this is the drone shot that I took from UK. So this is where I'm going to be applying the technique. First thing, right click, new fusion clip, then come to fusion. Okay, so you have the media one and it's connected to the media out. So let me just disconnect this line for now. You don't need that. I need to bring in the render 3D. Okay, I'll explain everything. Then you need the merge 3D. So anything you need to convert to 3D, the output should have a render 3D node. Just keep that in mind. And also it should have a merge 3D. It's just merging different things to the render 3D. Just keep this in mind, merge 3D and the render 3D. And now the median one, that is the input you know it's in a 2d plane so you want to convert into a 3d plane so for that you need this particular node it's called image plane 3d so what it will do is it will convert this 2d plane to a 3d plane so i just have to connect it like this and from this i can just go to the merge and now you have an image like this so I want to see the merge 3D on the first screen so I just select merge and press 1 on my keyboard so it will show on the screen 1. Now you can see that the 2D image has been converted to a 3D image. Now why we are doing this you will get to know in a bit. Okay now so you have to bring in the text 3D and the camera 3D. So now you have to join all these to the merge. 3d let me just bring this down this is why you need the merge 3d you know to merge everything together so i'm going to merge the camera 3d and i'm going to merge the text 3d so what it does you cannot see anything in the output as you can see and can you guess why that is well you can see here in this plane that the camera is like closely in contact with the plane so it's not able to see anything now you can navigate in this 3d space using the shift arrow to move around and the command arrow and scrolling you can zoom in and zoom out and if you press shift and scroll in you can like rotate the full 3d space so now the camera is in close contact with this image plane it's like touching the image which is why you are not able to see anything on the second screen so now what I'll do is I'll just bring the camera back. So for that there is this blue arrow right here. I can just pull it back. Just pull it back like this. So now you can see on the second screen that the image becomes visible. So let me just go as back as I can. Bring it as much as you can until you see the border. Yeah. So I can now just bring it back a bit. So now we have a good position for the camera. Now let's bring in the text. So let me just type something. I'm going to type in uh, United Kingdom. Now you might be wondering why it's looking like this on the second screen, but don't worry. Uh, it's the same thing. You have to bring it to the friend also. So now let me select the text 3D. Again, the blue arrow, just bring it forward like this. Let me just fit this one like this and you can see around that now it looks good but I know uh, it's pretty large so you have to bring the size down. So let me just lower the size. Now let me bring it to the center by clicking here. So it becomes in the center. Now the text still doesn't look very much 3D like. So for that what I can do is come here to extrusion just increase the extrusion depth to your liking i'm going to you know adjust a little bit i don't know for some weird reason it doesn't show in the second screen but once you render it out uh, it will be in 3d now you can leave the text to be like this but what i would like is just hit shift plus spacebar and then search for replace material 3d 
press add so what you can do with this is you can change the texture of the text so for that come to effects under templates fusion shaders there are a lot of shading elements here i'm going to select chrome just drag and drop it here and just join it to the replace 3d material so it sorts of create a 3d texture now i can adjust the color to my liking maybe somewhere around here so now you have the text element ready now we need to keyframe some parts so select text 3d come to transform and just keyframe everything x y and z under translation and make sure you are in the first frame now go to frame like maybe here 300 14 i'm putting and just increase the z axis so it will come towards the camera now i want it to go through the letter d so just make the adjustment like uh, i'll adjust the x the y and the z because i want it to go through d about there is good okay so now it's complete so it's going through the letter d okay now uh, it looks abrupt so you can smoothen out so you come to spline just select text 3d and press this to select all and press smoothen to make it smooth so it doesn't look very abrupt so now you have the smooth fly through transition now i've added a second footage uh, when you pass through d okay so now to add the second footage uh, through the d what i have to do is uh, i'll bring the second footage uh, below i'm going to select the mask i'm going to draw a mask around the hole in this d you can just click and then drag to create that curve so i'm going to create a nice mask like this you can make a precise adjustment make sure this mask is uh, well made you can spend as much as time for this particular mask and i'm going to make it a bit soft on the inside and the outside okay so now you can see once i press this that anything outside this mask got selected so i want the mask to highlight the portion inside the mask so i just have to come here and press invert so this portion got selected now what you have to do is uh, come here to keyframes just press this one to start a keyframe here go a couple frames back decrease the size and make the adjustment like this okay go a couple frames forward increase the size go a couple frame afterwards and again increase the size you get the point so just keep repeating the step i'm going to fast forward this do this backwards also so keep doing it until you reach the end Now you can see that once you play that the mask adjust accordingly just keep playing and uh, make the necessary adjustment if you find any gaps and one thing to notice in the last frame that is once the d passes this very frame you just increase the mask to the maximum because you want whatever is inside the mask to show now what you can do is just right click add alpha output and just join this to the blue dot and let me disable this tab so whatever is below that clip will come in that area so once everything is complete this is what you will have now as i told you in the beginning of this video if you guys have the paid version the 3d camera tracker tool is very powerful and it can give more accurate results than this so that's pretty much it for this video uh, thank you all for watching and i'll see you all in the next one